Well, hello my friends and happy Sunday to you. Um, I'm going to go over the supplies real quick for our project today. So this is our gorgeousness for today. I am so in love with this. So, so great. So this is what we'll be creating today. So let's just quickly go over the supplies. So I, um, this is an 11 by 14 MDF board. You can use a canvas, you can use a journal page, you can use whatever you want. Um, there's lots of wood panels out there if you want to, you know, find a birch wood panel. Um, variety of different paints. <clears throat> I used Lucas acrylics in tea. This is uh, cobalt teal, olive green, fern, caramel, uh, Prussian blue, and then this is a Lucas paint to paint, and it is ultramarine blue. I believe that's right. Ultramarine blue. Then I used some Liquitex Naphthol Red Light and some Cadmium Orange in the So Flat. I also used some Quinacridone Magenta. I used a little bit of black paint, just as generic Amsterdam black paint. Gesso as my white. Uh, fluid Matte Medium to put my papers down. Um, and then I used a variety of uh, mark making tools. I used my charcoal pencil, my Stabilo All pencil. This is a china marker. This is um, Stabilo Woodies in teal and white. And then some, just a couple random um, soft pastels, teal, white, and black. Um, so that is those supplies. Let me move that up. And then I used <clears throat> the abstract lines stencil I think I'm so terrible with the names and this is flower the flower mass stencils in the 8 by 10 I have big ones and I have small ones um, these are just adorable and I love these these are one, like one of my favorite these two are actually some of my favorite stencils this one you can just do so many different things with it that's why I love it um, <clears throat> so let me just quickly bring this back over and those are the supplies. Then I also have, um, so I used, I believe there's three collage packs. I used the flowers. Um, let me move this up here. I used the vintage flowers. These are vintage flowers. This is the stencil, the um, print of the stencil, uh, flower mask. And then I used the other stencil, the abstract lines one in the background. <clears throat> and then I've got some Persian pattern. I think it's Persian. They'll all, uh, again, they'll all be listed on the blog. And then um, this is vintage wallpaper. The vintage wallpaper one um, was um, kind of in the, like you can see the vintage wallpaper, and then vintage wallpaper was up here. <clears throat> and then the maps, vintage maps. Um, you can definitely see that. And then I had just some random ones in my stash, some music sheets and different things like that. But that, I think there, I be really believe there's three collage packs that I'll have on sale that you can use. That vintage map is really cool in the background. <clears throat> but I just love that. Um, but I put my papers down first and really was careful. And Oh, and I used some magazine pages, which I loved in this. I use some of the green down here and then the sky. I just love it peeking through up there. Um, but I put my papers down kind of in, in a strategic place, of course, because I wanted some of my flowers in the right spot. And then I knew I wanted sky and some green. And then my blue patterns here and orange patterns in here, because I kind of knew where I was going to go with this for the most part. Um, but I want you to notice that when I put my paint down, I was really careful to put it in specific spots and then um, kind of really filled in my flowers and then put my dragonfly on top because I wanted to be able to have the the, the background come through on my dragonfly um, wings um, and then I just really accentuated the color around it to really help bring it out. <clears throat> Blue is a great color contrasting color with orange so it really makes it pop. 
these these colors are, are really great complementary colors to each other um, and so that's why it works and I love the brightness that blue um, I did use um, a palette knife I, I started out I was thinking that I would use I did use this a little bit it's, it's got dried paint on it um, no surprise I used a tiny palette knife because I really wanted my paint lines to be really sketchy in here I did use this a little bit in here but I really kind of stuck to this one I thought I would use this one more but I, I didn't and then I used black to kind of outline the edges used my charcoal my pencil my china markers to really kind of bring out those flowers and I want you to watch as I put this together how I really um, kind of lay things in and then I continue to kind of come back and define the areas a little bit more um, with um, paint so that they really stand out instead of real and instead of kind of blend back in because if you don't have some contrasting colors or lights or darks next to what you're doing um, then they just kind of fade away so um, I think that is all for for this project um, nothing no like really oh my spray paint I did I did I did use some spray paint um, because I sprayed my flowers, um, which you will see. I sprayed my flowers with spray paint and then stamped them. And so um, I did do that. And I think, I think that's pretty much it. So that is our project for today. All the supplies will be listed down below in the YouTube description box. Um, to and the supplies will be on the blog but the link in the description box is to the blog so you can go there to get all of the information additional photos links all that kind of stuff all right let's get started on our project
Happy Sunday. What a fun, fun project. I absolutely loved this piece. It was um, something I'd kind of thought about and wanted to kind of take some risks on and do something a little bit different and I loved it, loved it, loved it. So let's just kind of um, talk through this a little bit. I went over everything in the beginning um, but you'll uh, hopefully you noticed how I kind of worked my way through kind of really defining all of the edges and different things like that because that's really really important um, in making something like this work. I love reductive painting um, coming around and kind of carving out <clears throat> exactly what I want and then making sure that there's definition between say this leaf and this color over here so I had originally some orange in this area and I changed it to more of a green because there was more contrast and so contrast is key in that same with under here I wanted more of a, a contrast um, from the blues and different things like that because there's already orange in the background I didn't need any more orange over here I wanted it to be um, blue or magenta uh, so anyway I love 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 this piece um, so much meaning so so many good things within this piece my magazine pages um, the map which is part of the journey and part of the inspiration um, the flowers are growth the dragonfly represents um, continuing to fly continuing to get up and so my quote um, says here a fall isn't final unless you stay on the ground and so that's why I did the dragonfly. Dragonflies always signify a new beginning. And so I thought it would be perfect. And I wanted it to be really grand. Um, so that really stood out. Um, just to kind of signify that a fall is not permanent. And so um, my inspiration came. So my coach, um, I have a, you know, my business coach. I have a couple coaches. Um, but she does inspiration all the time, of course. Um, and she actually, in, on her website, in like her weekly uh, video, I just I highlighted a couple things. Um, failures, and I don't like to call things failures. I like to call them challenges, lessons, mistakes, gifts. That's, I love that, gifts. Whatever language you prefer are guaranteed. What matters most, however, isn't the fact that you stumbled. What matters most is what you do immediately after. Um, don't let one flop convince you you're a failure. And then it also says, don't give the fear of failure a chance to harden in your bones. Get back up while the fear is fresh. And then this quote over here is the one that I used. A fall isn't final unless you stay on the ground. There are so many lessons in this. Um, I just kind of reread it and read it and reread it because we all have stumbles. We all fall down. We all have our, our moments where things did not go as planned, where we said the wrong words, where we did the wrong thing, where we forgot something, whatever it is. Um, we all have those moments. And um, I want to refer that, I mean, that's that's a life lesson and we'll get to that in a second but I also want to refer that to art um, because we've been in the membership um, we've really been I've been really driving home getting uncomfortable with ugly with the ugly art and um, I thought about that as this came up and I'm like it's so so true that so often when we create because you see me create a piece that's um, good or, or finished um, depending on what your version of good is. <laughs> um, but you see me create something from start to finish and it's this nice thing. But there's a million other pieces behind this piece that didn't work. That what the, would be what you would call a failure. And I don't like to call them failures because every single time that I create, whether I like it or I don't, whether I think it's good or I think it's crap, there's a lesson in there. And um, too often, um, people will try to create something, especially if they've 
you know, joined along with me here on YouTube or whatever, and they try to create something that I've done and it doesn't look exactly like mine or, or whatever. Um, and then they just, they get discouraged. And that quote that said, a fall isn't final unless you stay on the ground. And then don't give fear a chance to harden in your bones. Don't give fear a chance. Because that's really what, when we have something not work the way that we want it to, and then we stop doing it, it's because we're afraid that we will stumble again. That we will fail again. That we will create art that's crappy again. And of course we will. I create art that's crappy every single week. But from that, I go back in, I don't let it stop me, I keep going, and I create again. And from what I just did, I learned what not to do. And then so on, and so on, and so on. So by the time you see this piece that I created today, it's because I've learned so many lessons along the way. I've learned that contrast helps something stick out, because when I created before, everything blended in. And so, um, get back up while the fear is fresh. And that is so, so key in anything that we're trying to do, whether it be creative or relational or in our jobs or physical, because let's talk physical. So when you start to work out, you start to do something new, it hurts. You're awkward. You don't know, like if I go to yoga and I haven't been to yoga for a while, I don't know what the instructor's saying and I'm doing things <laughs> that aren't matching everybody else. That's only because I'm out of practice. And every time I go, I continue to go back and I still am awkward and I get better and I get better and I know the moves and I do the things. Same thing with art. Same thing with every single thing that we are trying to do that is new. Um, whatever that is. Um, so, my message to you today is don't give fear a chance to harden in your bones. The fall isn't final unless we stay down, unless we walk away from whatever we're trying to do. Unless we walk away. Go back in when the fear is fresh and try it again. Do it again and again and again and again. Don't give fear a chance to steal that opportunity of joy that I know that you will have at some point if you continue to keep going. Because that's the only time that we learn is in that challenging time. I hate calling it a failure because it's not a failure. It's a lesson. Like she said, it's a gift. It's a gift. Because we learn so much. So don't let fear steal that joy. Go back in and try it again. It was a hard lesson for me to learn because it's humbling. It's scary. It makes you doubt your ability. But here's the thing. No one has ability when they start something new. Very few. Some people are naturally born gifted in, I don't know, but very few people. Most people that have accomplished something of greatness is because they've practiced and practiced and they haven't given up. Even when somebody said that that's total crap, they said, all right, I'm going to make it better. And so I want to encourage you today, whatever the thing is that you're trying to do, don't let fear interfere. Go back in when fear is fresh and you've made that screw up or you've created something terrible or you made the wrong phone call or whatever it is, or you said the wrong words. Go back in and do it again and, and do it better the next time. And um, it gets better and better and easier and easier as you do that. And it's it's not easy and it's scary. I know that from experience. Um, but just keep showing up in that fear and doing the thing. That's all I have for you today, my friends. Do not, do not fall down and let it be final. Stand back up. Fly, fly. 
be beautiful in whatever mess that is you're in right now. Don't stay on the ground. Fly. All right, my loves. I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful. I hope that whatever you're trying, that, um, and you're new at it, and it is terrible, that you don't let it stop you. Please don't let it stop you. Keep going in the fear. Don't stay on the ground. Fly. And I hope this Sunday that you always, always know that you are loved.